Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to an intimate evening with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra and our wonderful artist Kate Bergen. <laughs> How does music for you inspire your work and, and inform your work? I think um, very much in a theoretical way. It's interesting just the shared um, language we have of arrangements and composition mm. and texture and mood. All of those things are very similar and all the, the arts share mm. these. Arrangement particularly is another one. And it's almost like that um, layering of sound in a symphony that we also layer form and colour. We create that movement through from the red macaw to the other finch over there and the apple. So you're constantly creating this movement, this enticement that is very similar to the way I imagine you're composing music too. Inspiration? Mm. Uh, probably from the animals themselves, I think. Yeah, sometimes I have an idea and I go out and look for the animal and other times they just present the most amazing unexpected photos at a zoo or wherever, wherever I am. So um, with this particular one, that was an unexpected one. It's a king cheetah and he was just stretching after lunch and just got that beautiful magic moment. I needed something else, so up there at the Sunshine Coast I discovered there's a huge aviary, gigantic, and uh, it's in Mullaney in the hinterland. That's where these guys came from and that's when it really started to come, to come together. So this is pretty much two, two and a half years in the making. Yeah, the macaws have to come again because that was just such a wild experience. So I'm very lucky that the paintings take me on these journeys. It's beautiful. So really the inspiration's all around you. Yeah, very much. Yeah, we do live in a bit of a jungle. I think by representing it to an audience, I hope that we allow it to live it in, in, in a new way as you were saying that we have different eyes as 21st century people we have different ears so we see it differently and i hope that that enriches us mm -hmm. 